In this video, we'll take a look at different ways of entering pages of drum music into Polynome. I'm going to use George Lawrence Stone's Stick Control as an example. So this particular book has um, exercises 1 through 24 on the first page and you repeat each 20 times and they're each two bars long. So I'm going to show you how I would do this in Polynome. I would use a playlist for each page of the book and a new item in the playlist for each exercise. So uh, a new two bar item per exercise. And in this book, they're just labeled one, two, three, four, etc. So we'll label them in the same way. So in Polynome, I'm going to go to the playlist page and create a new playlist. And I'm going to call this page 5x1 through 24 because this is from page 5 in the book and in fact let's rename this stick control and George Lawrence stone stick control okay and then I'm going to enter a new item by tapping here and choosing new entry in playlist. I'm just going to call this one because this is exercise one or you could call it exercise one. That might save confusion with the numbering of the items in the playlist. Now in some older versions of Polynome by default this will be entered as a loop. In newer versions it's entered with one rep. I'm going to go ahead and tap the gear button and set this to be 20 reps because we want each of these to play 20 times. And then I'm going to go back to the main page and enter um, the pattern for bar one. So we want two bars here and it's grouped as four eighth notes. So I'll go to the half note and find four eighth notes and enter the two bar pattern. And then this first one is just single stroke rolls, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So all I need to do is enter a right and a left, and that will be repeated across the whole pattern. And then have to choose sounds for these. And I'm going to tap and hold on the R button and search for pads. And I'll make the right hand be pad one, and I'll make the left hand be pad two. And something else I'm going to do for this, in fact, is make all of the right hands be pad one and all of the left hands be pad two because I'm not going to want crashes and toms. And that means that later on perhaps we, we could use lowercase r if we wanted a ghost note or something like that. Um, just means that all the r's and l's are pads. So I'll hit done and we can test this. Save the changes. So that's exercise one, and I'm happy enough with that. This is now going to be the basis for the rest of the exercises. So we'll go back to the playlist and tap the plus button. And I'm going to duplicate entry with new name and call it exercise two. And then simply modify this to be exercise two uh, from this, which is just the same, but left hand lead. So what we need to do is actually go in here and edit the pattern and make that a left-right instead of a right-left. Okay, that's good. So just continue like that. Exercise three is going to be right-right-left-left. Left. So make sure I've got exercise two selected. Duplicate with new name and call it exercise three. And then edit the pattern and Make sure we tap the sound lines. Right, right, left, left, done. And save. And then eventually you'll get to um, item 24 and then it will be done. Um, by default, playlist controls are set to loop the playlist and not uh, perform any tempo increments. Uh, the user can always change that. And I would set this to a locked tempo before saving it to the library. Um, so that all of these will play back at the same rate. Now if you find that you want to change the click for example, so maybe 
you want a different sound for the click, you can set sounds. Let's choose that, that sound, for example. You wouldn't necessarily want to do that, but just to show you how you can change things later on, you can tap on the preset name and choose copy preset. And then I could select all in here and in actions, I can paste attributes and I can paste metronome sounds. And you can also choose to paste the sticking sound button sounds, which are the sounds assigned to R and L without affecting the sticking. So if you wanted to set the right hand to be a hi-hat and the left hand to be a snare drum, it's very easy to do for everything in one go. So you'll see when I paste this, these all have the new click sound for the one. And finally, you might want to add some notes and say this is page five of George and maybe put some instructions about how each exercise is played 20 times. And that's probably about it. The next thing would be to create page six of the stick control book. Since they're all numbered in a different way, you might just want to start, start with a copy of this so you can go to the playlist manager and we can select this and hit duplicate playlist. I'll create a standalone copy because we don't want any of the items to be linked. And then I can just change the name here to page six, exercises 25 through 48 and rename. So now we have a place to start for that. And I'll just go and delete these. Or you can leave them in and just rename them as you go. So um, exercise one, I can rename that on the main page, rename preset and call that exercise 25. And then change the sticking, uh, right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. So you'll have to enter the whole sticking for that. So right, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. So that's 25. So you could, I guess, have left all of the examples one through 24 in and just go ahead and rename them rather than duplicate them first. So let's just do one more, duplicate entry with new name, exercise 26. So that is, you can tap and hold the Dell or backspace button to clear all of the sounds. And this one is right, right, left, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, left. So it's really quick and easy to enter all of these things. Later on, if you get to entering um, things with 16 some missing notes, remember that you can enter something like this and hit edit and you can take out notes if you need to. Um, I think in the book they're written with a rest at the end, so the notation will look slightly different. If you want to have the notation with the rest at the end, like in the book, you can use the three sixteenths grouped under the dotted eighth and then the single 16 to rest and then it will look more like it does in the book and in later patterns when you want to enter flams and rolls you can tap above the notes and just enter the slashes there or a z which represents four slashes and you can enter the flams and roofs and drags here and accents and ties so that's all really easy to do too And then finally, you might want to group those playlists. So I'll create a new playlist and call it GL Stone Stick Control Page 5 through 10, for example. And in here, you can tap the plus button and insert link to playlists. And then you can choose page 5. In fact, let's tap on the multi-select, we'll choose page five and page six, and then insert. And then we get a playlist which gives us page five, page six, and you can just tap on here to load page five, and then you can tap here and go back and tap here to load page six, etc. And then when you are sharing those on the public library, 
you would go to the multi-select and make sure you select the playlist with the links in and the playlists that are linked to and then tap on the share button and add to public library. So that's how to enter pages of music into Polynome. Thanks for watching and thanks for using Polynome.